So I got this comment from Viper Silent, who wants to build a side-scrolling eight-directional beat-em-up with jumping, which means we've got to combine a few things to make a sprite jump with an eight-directional behavior. So first and foremost, the objects on my layout, I have a wall barrier, which is a simple tiled background and I've given it the solid behavior and I've just stretched one out here across the top which is as high as I want the player to be able to move upwardly and one at the bottom to stop him falling off the bottom of the screen uh, or moving too low outside of the map. I have a ground tile background uh, called ground uh, with a solid behavior that's not enabled in fact we don't even need that solid behavior on there uh, we can take that off and I have our player sprite, which is called Sprite. Uh, now the player sprite has a few behaviors. Uh, it has the eight directional behavior, it has the bullet behavior, and it has the tween behavior. And I'm gonna use all of these things to make it move and jump in the random area here. Now on the eight directional behavior, I've set the speed to 120, acceleration to 1200, deceleration to 1200, I've given it eight directions to move within. I've set set angle to no, don't allow sliding, I've, default, I've unchecked default controls and I've set it to enabled. The, the bullet speed is 300. Effectively, that's gonna be the jump strength. So if you want the, the, the sprite to jump higher, you can set that higher. The acceleration to zero, gravity to zero, everything else unchecked. And then the tween behavior is just enabled. And that's all I've got on the layout. In the event sheet, I've got one global variable which tracks the player's Y position when they begin to jump. So the system will track the player's X and Y position infinitely. Um, I've created just a standalone variable that will track it for when we jump. So when we hit the jump button, I'm gonna transfer whatever the position of the Y is of the player to this variable. On the start of the layout, I'm gonna set the bullet angle of motion to 270, which is directly up in the air. The A, W, A, D, and S keys are gonna control the eight directional movement using the eight directional behavior. And then I've set up a keyboard on space pressed, if not jumping, and that's a local instance variable, Boolean instance variable that I've assigned just to the player. Started with an unchecked box, because obviously the player is not gonna be jumping when we start the level. So only if we're not jumping, when we press the space bar, we're gonna call a function that I've created called jump. And to, to create a function, you right click and just add function. This function is called jump, and what's gonna happen when we jump is we're gonna set the jumping instance boolean variable of the player to true, which means that we can't press it again until we've set it untrue. We are then gonna set the start y player, uh, the player start y variable, the global variable, to the player's y position at the time of pressing jump. We're then gonna set the bullet enabled for 0.1 second, and then we're gonna disable it, which is gonna shoot him up in the air at whatever the bullet speed that you suggest is. Then when we get to the top of the bullet jump uh, after 0.1 seconds, we're gonna set the tween behavior on the Y axis only to the player start position. So the original position the player was in when they hit the jump position on the Y, and that's gonna be of 0.1 seconds. We're then gonna wait out that 0.1 seconds, and we're gonna set the jump back to false, which means we can then jump again. And then all we've got at the bottom here is if we are jumping, we're gonna de we're gonna disable the collisions on the sprite, and if we are not jumping, we're gonna enable them. And that means that if we're jumping, we're gonna be able to jump through this, but if we're just walking up, we're gonna be able to stop here and not walk any higher. And as always, a extra special thank you and a shout out to my wonderful Patreon supporters, Fuzel CC, Retro Galaxy, Olivia Bernier, Amari Lewis, Enmark Games, Jess Matt, Tor, Alex Anderson, Rob, Jared Demont, Martin K, Julian Cruz, Raul San Gonzalo, 8-Bit Gamer, Davey Ragnarok, John Allegreza, and Joey. Thanks for supporting the Game Dev Journey, and if you want to find out about what's on offer on the Patreon, there's a link in the description.